Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos and vlogs, so if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. For this video, I'm going to show you how I do my loose waves for $17. Honestly, it's so easy. It takes me probably like 15 minutes to do it. So if you want to see how I get my loose curls for $17, then let's just go ahead and get started. The curling iron that I have is the 1.25 inch curling iron from Conair. It's just a $17 curling iron from Amazon. The key to having loose curls, you want something that's not too big, like 1.5, where the curls are so loose that they end up falling throughout the day, but you don't want something too small that the curls are too tight that when they do fall, they still look a little too small. So for me, my perfect size is the 1.25 inch. It's really easy to use. There's two buttons, one for a power and then one for turbo. I've never used the turbo button personally, but I just use the power button and let it heat up. So the first thing we're going to do is put up our hair around halfway I like this curling iron also because it has a knob for how strong you want the heat to be. So I like to keep it on around in between 20 and 25 and it goes from 1 to 30. Now we're left with half our hair. So we're going to start with our inside pieces. You don't want to take too thin of pieces, but you want a good amount. We're going to clamp in the middle. And as we're rolling it away from our face, we're going to loosen the clamp ever so slightly and continue to roll the curling iron up, let it stay for a little. And I like to make sure to keep maybe around two inches from the bottom loose. And here's the key to getting the loose curls. What I do is I slowly unravel and hold, and then unravel and hold. And then you just let go and you have a nice loose curl. So next piece again, we're going to clamp on the inside around the middle, roll away, Loosen a little, continue to roll away and hold. Make sure we have the bottom piece sticking out. And instead of just letting the curl go, we're going to slowly unravel and hold. And let it down. Okay, one more time. Clamp in the middle. Pull away from our face, loosen the clamp, roll, make sure we have a little bit sticking out at the end, and then slowly unroll, and then let go. If you want, you can also redo it and clamp, roll, and what you would do in this scenario is really just clamp more so as you loosen the clamp you just add a little more and roll unroll unroll Like to loosen the curls or anything until after the entire side is done so now that we've finished curling we're just going to loosen them up ever so slightly and and then here's one side done of our lower half okay and now we're just going to do the other side again start from the bottom and work from I would say medium-sized pieces not too thin not too thick but just medium-sized it's a little harder on the side that's not your dominant but again Curl in, loosen the barrel and continue to curl. And then slowly unravel the barrel and let it go. Like it's a little too loose you can always redo that piece so for me I'm going to redo this one
lower half. You can see already how the curls loosen up. I don't like to put any hairspray in because honestly, this double ceramic curling wand holds my really thick hair up very well. I don't really need hairspray and I don't really like using hairspray anyway because I kind of, I don't really like that crunchy texture that hairspray gives and I can honestly find that my curls hold up well and they fall very naturally with this curling iron. So that's really nice, but for the most part, here is what the bottom half of our hair looks like. It was so easy. I hope I made that clear for you guys how to do it, but I'll show you again with the top. We're just gonna make sure that we have all of our straight pieces out in front of us. For the front pieces, we're gonna start in the back portion and just do the same exact thing as we did before with our bottom pieces, curling away from our face and clamp in the middle. Curl it in a little. Loosen the barrel so that you can grab more hair. And then slowly unravel and hold. You'll get the hang of it too the more that you do it, but you really just wanna practice curling away from your face and using the clamp to loosen up and grab more hair so that you can curl more. And then slowly, you just want to practice unraveling and holding and letting it go. For our front pieces, you still want to curl away from your face, so curling away. I like to comb them up. Make sure you have a flat piece. Do almost the same exact thing, except we're going to clamp it away and just in a diagonal kind of curl. And then instead of unraveling, we're going to just let it fall. And then you get a natural wave like this. So again, I'll show you guys. Curl away from our face, diagonally, maybe loop just once, and instead of unraveling as we did with our other pieces, we're just going to let it down and fall, just like that. And then there you have one side. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other side. if you have longer pieces when you're unraveling you want to unravel once and sometimes if I feel like it's a little longer piece that I can curl a little more I will just loosen the clamp a little curl once more and then unravel that piece last same idea for our bang pieces just on the other side so it's always hard when you're doing your non-dominant side because everything feels flipped but you will get the hang of it the more that you practice again we want to keep these bang pieces flat and up same idea clamping away from your face and instead of unraveling we're just going to let it through just like that and then again, you just want to loosen the curls a little bit with your fingers and... Okay, and there you have your loose curls. I hope that made sense for you guys. The strategy is to clamp in the middle, wrap around away from your face, loosen the clamp as you're grabbing more hair and instead of just letting the curling iron go you want to unravel the curl and hold it so that i don't know how but that's what creates that loose wave look for your bang pieces the key is really just to curl away from your face and keeping the curling iron in a diagonal you can run your fingers through it too to make sure that everything blends as seamlessly together with our top and bottom portions that we did but i like i love how these natural waves look the key is really the 1.25 inch curling iron width that is 
the magic number that you want not 1.5 not one and I would also just practice using the clamp because I always used a barrel before that didn't have a clamp where you would just wrap your hair around it and it gave me a curl but not the loose curl that I wanted so once I figured out how to use the clamp it actually is so easy and it's really fast so this took me like 20 minutes and the curls will continue to fall as the day goes by but honestly these are like as loose as I would like them the looser that they get the more natural that they look so I think this looks pretty nice. That's it guys for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and I hope it made sense. I don't know if it did, but that's how I do my loose curls for $17 with no hairspray, no hair salon, just my Amazon curling iron and me. And really you just want to practice as much as you can and you will easily get the hang of it. This is my last video of Vlogmas. So I hope you guys had fun watching three videos a week from me. I still have a lot of content ideas for the incoming year and just getting more stuff out on YouTube. So I hope you stick around and make sure you're subscribed, but that's it for this video. I'll see you in my next one, but until then I miss you already. Bye.